What's up everyone, Hobbit here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, where we've just moved in into a new place, having cleared it of Murphy's Brood. That's a new type of gang, a new type of gang for us anyways. They skin people, ugh, they possibly eat people, I guess, I don't know. They were terrible, so you know what? Whatever else happens, I'm glad we got rid of those people, at least. So, how are we doing? I wanna walk around the camp first a little bit. Ooh, actually, first I wanna see what uh, Arthur has to say about all this. Turns out, I'm not very well. Got tuberculosis. Doctor did not know how long I would last. All them bullets shot at me, all them horses threw me, all them fights. And it was beating up that pathetic little fella Downs that killed me. Oh, that's where he got it. From Downs. He had tuberculosis and we beat him up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mmm. He's the only man I've been near was real sick. He begged for mercy and I beat the bastard and he died. And now I'm dying too. The way of the world. My mind is racing, of course. That monk and that nun. Downs's widow. Abigail. Mary. Dutch, when I first knew him. Hosea, my dead pa. The no good bastard. The whole crowd of people. And what kind of man have I been? What kind of man am I? What world is this we live in? A land of fury or a place to love? A place of love? Am I being prepared for eternal damnation? Am I past any kind of saving? Is that all fairy tales? Main ain't got much good in him. I ain't got no good in me. I don't think. And yet, I see goodness, I see it, if not in me, in good folk. In Abigail and her love for Jack, and that silly monk, in Downs, I guess. Begging, not for himself, but for the poor, even though he was near starving himself. Maybe I don't want salvation. Part of me has always longed for death. Well, here it comes, I suppose. Ooh, this is some heavy stuff. That Arthur has to say. <laughs> Holy Crap, he is trying to come to terms with his death. I'm sure that as he writes this, these words in his journal, he uh, is a little less calm than what he's writing, right? But he's trying, he's trying to come to terms with it and uh, be okay with it, I guess, accept it. Since he cannot exactly do anything about it besides moving someplace warm and dry, which he cannot. And even then it would only postpone the inevitable. But yeah, reading these words from a man we know well, and I'm sure we all know Arthur well by this point, uh, reading something like this from someone you know well, your friend basically, who's about to die, this is... Leave it, Bill. Found a raving lunatic. Completely raving. Took him back to a village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right there. Some kind of village elder, Obadiah? Maybe? Appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense. Weird place. Something not right at all. Very true. <laughs> Creeped me out that place. Oh, these two. Got into a fight with a drunk giant with a tiny head. Yes, that's what happened. Fellow was strangling a barkeep who, got who had turned off his liquor supply. Part of some kind of circus act. The show was run by a woman, Marjorie, I think. She's missing a tiny magician. I suppose we all are. <laughs> He's run away into the woods. Said if I saw him, I'd send him back to them. Did send him back. Found the little magician and reunited the Sod family. Fella tried to give me the slip a few times, but in the end, seems they love each other even more than they hate each other. Or at least it was close. Want me to see their show sometime in Saint Denis, and say they'll reward me then, as they were broke now. We should do that sometime. Beaver Hollow, our new place. Molly ratted us out. Dutch broke her heart, so she told the law about us. Explains how they found it so easily, I guess. Love does strange things to us all, even stranger than hate. She turned up, drunk and mouthy, and told us all this. She was so pathetic I wanted to spare her, but Miss Grimshaw put a bullet in her anyway. Not just a bullet, it was a freaking shotgun shot. <laughs> it pretty much opened her stomach, alright? It wasn't just a bullet. Guess it was right. Guess there weren't much of a choice. I mean, that is right, that is right. It's it's a gang, after all. Like Arthur said in the very beginning, they still are bad people, you know? 
you cannot expect to read them all out and be okay afterwards. Maybe they should have held like a trial. Because after Arthur said if she even did it, and I thought about it really, I now have my doubts if she was the one. But then again, they probably are fans of, you know, hard justice and all that, and they wouldn't actually hold a trial as such. Since she confessed, you know. So. This was in our new camp, high in some nasty country. Badlands, or as bad as we can find this far to the east. The place we are holed up used to belong to a bunch of murderers. The Murphys and some... Or some nonsense like that, they call themselves. It's exactly what they call themselves. We shot some of them, but there's more lurking in the woods around this place. Don't think we have long here before the law or the Pinkertons find us again. I just hope we can keep ahead of them for a while, or ahead of ourselves. That's all we have for right now. Oh man, I expected Arthur to have written something. Your youthful bloom. Oh Jesus. It Grimshaw. Fades, and it's a horror what's left. Don't be like that, Miss Grimshaw. I know how you girls laugh at women. I used to laugh at women just like me when I was young and pretty and sure of the world. We don't laugh at you, miss. You do. And you're right too. I'm laughable. Are you drunk? But it'll happen to you too. They'll stop looking soon enough, and that glass in your hand won't be so friendly neither. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and die first. Yes. Well, get to work. Vanity won't help you, young or old. Fuck. Are you okay there? Nervous? Can I even talk to you? No? You don't want to talk? Uh, understandable. You have to understand she's upset right now. She, that's how she's dealing with Molly's death, uh, given that she was the one to shoot her. She didn't want to do that. She's lashing out. She's upset. No, yeah, I understand it. If you don't want to talk about it, I'll, I'll leave you alone. I'll just leave you to yourself right now. Oh, there's some real fog around here. Morning, Arthur. Yeah, what's up, Tilly? You okay, Tilly? Molly got what she deserved. Nearly got us all killed. Yeah. Yep. She knew the rules. Yep. Ooh, look at the cutting animation. That's pretty smooth. That's pretty good. I actually have the pieces and everything. That's cool. I like that. Okay. I'm actually wondering where I can donate, and also what's this little sign here on the minimap? Grimshaw? Yep, that's oh, that's the re request, isn't it? I should. Oh, I've had enough of this morning. I guess. Here's those herbs you asked for. Ah, uh, excellent, thank you. I'll slip these in Pearson's pot when he's not looking. <laughs> Do you have any oregano left though? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, what else we got? Pearson, wanna talk about this whole thing? Suppose not. Oh? Me too, Uncle. What's gonna happen, you know? To everybody. No, I don't know. Yes. Folks is gonna make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. Thank you, Uncle. That means a lot, actually. Good morning. Karen? Yes, that's that. Happy days. All we can do is move on. Suppose so. Up, 
Charles. You okay? I guess. I didn't really know Molly so well. Thanks for your help. <laughs> well, secure in this lovely spot. Kind of is a lovely spot if you, you know, forget about who lived here before. Micah. Kind of hate you, but do you have anything to say? For man's desire and not some old world juju. Wasn't that a beautiful fantasia, Arthur? If you say so, Dutch. This is gonna be a good day. Such a beautiful dream. So poorly rendered. Hmm. <sighs> Molly, I don't believe it. I should have cut her loose months ago. Well, you should have talked to her. Is what you should have done. In our new home, I guess. You refused all the time. Anyway, I'll lead to it. Okay, Arthur. Don't get Dutch any more worked up than he already is. That's all you have to say? Fine. Guess you don't care about the people here in the camp, huh? I don't know what you mean. Nah, you know exactly what I mean. So, here we are. Can't believe that bitch Molly ratted us out. Yeah, if she even did. Yeah. Is there anyone in the cave? Oh, I... <laughs> I thought we filled the cave in at first. Eesh. Anyone around here? Is this place just empty now? I guess so, huh? It's kind of interesting, they have all sorts of... ...things... ...lying around here. Furniture. Fires burning. Why wouldn't we want to move into the cave? It seems safer too, you know? Somewhat. Maybe not super safe still, but somewhat safer. Oh hey, there's a chest to search. Change cup. So I can beg? <laughs> oh, it's okay, okay, actually. And there's jewelry. Very nice. That did not look like a spring, platinum spring bracelet at all. But you know what? I'm fine with that, with the way they display things. They got running water inside here. No, this is not a bad place at all. I think I'd move in. We'd be less visible inside the cave. That's a big advantage, isn't it? If we're trying to hide from the Pinkertons. Susan has left a reward at the tent. Let's see what it is. Morgan. Bill. What's your last name? Don't remember. Well, anyways, Bill. What's the reward? for you by your tent? Yes, thank you. A little you. thank you for that seasoning you brought me. Okay, thank you. I missed, missed the fights there, Susan. Alright, where's the... um? Oh, is this it? Potent Miracle Tonic. That's pretty good. I think I'm not gonna smoke right now. I think that's uh, not exactly great for me at the moment. Okay, we have this LS, which is Leopold Strauss. We also have... Ooh, something new in the north. Interesting. Uh, Sadie, right here, probably preparing to get John out of, out of prison. We have Edith Downs. Ooh, Downs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let me go talk to Strauss first of all. He seems to be near. I think I saw someone sitting. So crazy, Morgan. I guess folk are real scared. We'll be fine. We always have been. Now Dutch will see us good. I hope so. Not you as well. 
Another fella doubting them? You know, I thought... I thought more of you, Morgan! Wow, Bill. Okay. Guess I'll see you later, then. Okay. I guess it's difficult for Bill to see the people around him losing faith. Like, that's just about the only thing he can hold on to, actually. And... Okay, Strauss. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Strauss. How are you? About... <coughs> About how I look. Okay. Are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? Vigor. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Guess you can't uh, send Micah, because he'd just kill everybody, but... You could send... I don't know, Bill? He wouldn't care, would he? Javier or Charles would do a great job, I feel. I don't know. You know what? Fine. Let's just pick up this new thing first, though. I am very curious about that. Oh, oh, you! Yes! Please! Tell me what I want to know, and I will help you. Um, and I will help the blind. Yes, let me, uh... Dude! Come on, that's the prophet! The blind man. I will! Yes, okay, there we go. Here you are. Tell me something about me. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply. For the man with no nose is coming for you. Uh, man with no sure. nose. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Who's the man with no nose? Let's go, girl. Are you still here? What are you No, I'm gone. For? I'm gone, I'm gone. So this place at least seems friendlier. A bit drier too out of that fog and all. Speaking of drier places, I wonder if Arthur would feel better with the disease if he moved up into the mountains more. Those places are always a little drier, aren't they? I'm not sure that they are, but There's some sort of enemy there. Oh, probably an animal, isn't it? Okay, so here we are. What's going on here? There's a person. Morning. Had a grave. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. Well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... You could always join our gang. We're about one big haul away from living in Tahiti. Banana farming. We just need money is all. A little bit. We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true. Something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, 
I'll, um... I'll leave you to it. Oh, man. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. Ooh, teaching her to hunt. Interesting. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell Lead me, the widow to the hunting an animal area. Before? No, then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? She poisoned him with the berries. Oh. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple I assumed years. wrong. I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. So we're here. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well... Uh... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, don't worry, you won't need one. Well, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see any. I don't either, actually. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. I see the plants. I do not see any movement. Except for ours. And the stench coming off of Arthur. <laughs> Alright, we can walk around this area. Surely we'll find something around here, right? Why can't I pick it? Hmm, eating is fine, I guess. See. Seriously, I don't see anything moving. Oh, there are some tracks. I see the tracks. I. Oh, there's a rabbit. Look at that. There. Look. A rabbit. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. I don't have the. I should have gone to the horse, shouldn't I? This is not a good belt. Good shot. Well, thank you. Go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I? I mean, what do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Really? It just tears. Does it really work like that? Wow. <laughs> it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. yeah. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, 
This really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. <laughs> You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Punting? Oh no. No, we're done for now. Whoa, stay back! Smell the dead rabbit. I did. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> you see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got That's very likely. Me. Yes. Well, my, my husband. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, oh, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. That's a poor pelt. People always talk about the simplicity of country life. But there's nothing simple about any of this. Uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, I mean, it's simple please. in principle, I'm right? Sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. See, the thing here is that simple is not the same as easy. They're different things. Simple means less complicated, which life in the outdoors probably is, unless you're doing what Arthur does, I suppose. Uh, you need to know how to do things. And that's not simple. But in principle, the life itself is more simple than the city. However, the city life is much easier. Because you have all kinds of uh, conveniences in the city. You have a lot of people uh, gathered in one place specializing in different things. You don't have to know how to do everything yourself. So that sort of makes it easier, but the huge amount of people makes it complicated as well. That's the idea. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Well, this is good, though. I could have questioned her, I guess, but this is fine. This is good. She will survive now. I like that. Can we get a couple of things here? Do I want... Nah. Yeah. Just get these two guns in advance before I actually need them. So let's see now. We're here. I'm not going to pick up that pelt. What is this? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want to go see Downs. This really, really is karma too, isn't it? Karma catching up to Arthur. Him beating the debt out of that sick guy and catching the disease. At the very, at the very least, he could very much interpret it as karma, I think. It fits very well. And now, we're about to talk to that man's widow, whose life was never easy, even when he was alive, but now it's just absolutely terrible because of us. Where is she? Not her. Where is she? Oh, there she is. 
Edith. This is down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... Is man unleashed? That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just Hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick. Ah, oh, jeez. Which won't be long, given how hard they work on him. Uh. See. Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Mm. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. No, no, we're gonna go to the mine. We're gonna try and make this better. Oh, um, horse. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's the son too. Be quiet, Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mouth's a horn. That's a goddamn fact. Why don't you shut up? Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died, and this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, Mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. And Clear armed. Off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. I'm gonna take your hat, man. Can't even fight your own battles, Downs. Let me go. You ain't gonna leave me alive. Shit. There we go. Now who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go. Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this, all of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. <sighs> Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. That's actually one way to deal with this, I think. Thirty-five bucks is not too much. We have a hundred times that, literally. A hundred times that. Alright. I think the next thing on our list is the debtor. Let's go see him. I mean, I imagine the boy's mother, you lost your mind? Mrs. Downs, you cool would not be... Wait, going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I imagine that she wouldn't be happy at all with the money we gave her. She would, like, throw it out or something. And yeah, I understand that completely. Arthur ruined her life. But... At the same time, I do think that's the best we can do, considering the situation. Just give him a chance to start anew, you know? I'd probably give the guy a little more money, if I were Arthur, because... We have the money. Could have given him like a thousand bucks. But hey, 35 is better than nothing. J. John Weathers. Here's a camp. He's probably staying out, huh? Park over here. Oh. He is the. Oh, there he is under the cart. No, you owe me money. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. 
You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here. It's him. It's too late. Form up. We shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can <laughs> for you. I noticed. Oh boy, we're almost dead, actually. There was a couple of good shots in there, I guess. I saw someone right over there. And uh, Arthur hit his freaking believe there's someone. Here we go. We done? It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Um, you know what? We are, yeah. We are on a less violent path, I Damn feel. the dead. Just get her somewhere safe. Since the disease, you know? At least Thank that's you, how I feel. Fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you... I don't know nothing about. When we're faced with death, this is the kind of stuff we... Oh, look, maximum, maximum honor as well. Uh, this is the kind of stuff we do. OH. What's OH? Man, there's a lot of stuff around. That's the new thing we saw. There's another debtor. There's ED again. And OH is Obadiah Hinton. Ooh. Witcher Creek. Very interesting as well. Let's see what the new thing is, though. It's like right here. Oh, whoa, careful. Hey! You there? Yeah? Can you Who's help? talking? Possibly. Where are you? <laughs> oh. Oh. Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? The goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? <laughs> Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> Great. Mule! <laughs> ah, man. This is... There he is. I love Arthur's reaction to the joke the guy made about Mule, you know, second time. Mule cost him his leg. 
Arthur's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't think I'm gonna sneak up on him. Although, hey there, Buell. Dutch warm blood. Is he great? He's okay, actually. Look at that. Hmm. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, come on. Come on, boy. Come on, Buell. You're a good boy. You're not an angry boy. Yeah. Well, I can't get on because of the wooden leg, I guess. Although I could get it out of the stirrup, but okay. Now come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Yeah, let's get you back. Uh, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in the stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. No, 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 you can't. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. You can see that Arthur likes horses, huh? <laughs> I love the way he talks to Buell, and sometimes uh, his own horse. You know, when he's like, easy now, easy, come on. Who's whistling? Don't tell me it's gonna be one of those Murphy guys or whatever and Buell's gonna run off again. Cause that would suck, this is taking a while. And then it's gonna take a while again. Come on now, Buell. Why is my horse and the veteran guy... Why are they so far apart? Weird. Didn't I stop, like, right by him? Oh. Well. We ain't far now. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. No, you're a good boy. found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt. Fish! Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Well, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> that is true. Great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's Run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. All right, all right. Yeah, this was a good thing we did. I enjoyed that. And I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode. In this peaceful place, having helped someone. Next time, I think the first thing I want to do is continue the quest line of that Downs Widow. 
hey, maybe it'll go better than I think? Who knows? We can hope. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.